Seen. In general, walking in this morning, and then, I mean, what's your first so impression? It's a complication to think about what architecture's yes. role could be politically, right? And, and so, it's the first thing you think, right? Well, it's, a, it's an opportunity to people, for people to say whether architecture can be political or can't be. So there's a whole wealth of, wealth of projects that's formal. Um, a critical, a political, and I kind of expected that there would be, and this is like the perfect forum to launch that as a reaction. Um, but then, and then there are, you know, the the, the largest group of projects is kind of critical and um, kind of easy target, easy criticism. But the ones that are the most provocative were just a couple that were generative, critical and generative, and. Mm -hmm. Um, found a role for architecture that was more instrumental, right? Like the ones that um, didn't only co make commentary but showed how the White House could be a kind of uh, distributor of information. Mm -hmm. so and that may not have been conceived by architects. Mm -hmm. I think that's what that's what I thought was interesting is that it, it seemed like there were a lot of people that participated that were not necessarily architects. Yeah, that was a surprise. I thought it would yeah. be full of uh, students of architecture doing the same kind of projects we, s we see in uh, final reviews yeah. all over, except with the White House. As, uh, and it's not at all like that. I mean, that's, that's kind of yeah. surprising. Um, there are a lot of strains and a lot of patterns. Um, but, but one that I found kind of particularly um, uh, unexpected is, is the notion of a world, the world seat of power that America and the White House is still considered to be that, you know, yeah. from what seems to be an international group of entries. And, you know, that you'd think that that issue would be at least contested, you know? It might be distributed power. It is interesting that people didn't contest that idea more, actually. Mm -hmm. that well, people I think the server touches on that, though, in a way, all these, like, sort of network media-based, yeah. sort of sharing 2.0 open source, all these entries are sort of like questioning the fact that the White House is this like fortress that no one can, mm -hmm. right. can touch on. And yeah, I was actually expecting a lot more negative versions of this. I thought a lot of people were going to use this as an opportunity for kind of like ironic criticism of, of, of especially U.S. foreign policy. But like I, I was literally convinced that we'd see at least yeah. one uh, kind of like a uh, razor wire wrapped kind of Guantanamo Bay yeah. uh, sort of concentration sure. camp complex in the middle of DC. Like I was convinced there's gonna be at least one. And I thought I thought there were gonna be two or three, but there wasn't a single one. Yeah. And like I just thought there were gonna be a lot more kind of ironic, uh, like yeah, can't uh, X-ray or that that uh, secret CIA detention center in Afghanistan. Like I was convinced right. that there were gonna be some stuff like that, and there really, there really wasn't. I mean, there were things that highlighted American power and American militarism, but there wasn't the like the flagrant version of that that I was expecting to see, which was definitely surprised me. And then there's some things I just thought were going to happen that didn't. Like I thought they were going to be more kind of archigrammian things, and there was at least one walking city. But um, and they were so, but, but it, it gravitated much more toward like the super studio version yeah. of mega structures as opposed to the archigram version of mega yeah. structures, and I, I wasn't expecting that. There were a lot of hall, or at least what I detected were a lot of like Hans Holon references with the aircraft carrier, and mm -hmm. I, I, I wasn't expecting the aircraft carrier references. And mm -hmm. there was another one where. It's like two aircraft carriers decked above one oh, another, yeah. overneath or above where the White House. Yeah, I was be. disappointed by that one because I thought when I first saw it from a distance, I thought, "Oh, that's good to have a kind of wide aircraft carrier." But then it just was a bit hokey. The second layer wall didn't make any sense yeah. at all. But I think that kind of to, to militarize the building was a kind of an elegant way to just to do it, but very lightly. Like so it was right. a sort of non-threatening military weapon in yeah. white in a green garden, you know, it was all very nice, but then it had this double layer for no good reason. So what I thought originally was it was the White House with a kind of prosthetic aircraft carrier above it, you know. and I thought, yeah, that's pretty good, sort of Vegas style. Yeah, that's true, I mean, in general, the projects were, were attempting to find, attempting to kind of negotiate a positive scenario, even the ones that had very brutal criticisms in them, and, but they, the way of doing it was quite discreet, like for example, just remove just the White House which is gone, or be replaced by a public meeting 
space or be placed by a series of pavilions. You know, they didn't, they just sort of quietly initiated a different model. And that was the general tone. There's an amazing amount of intellectual work. I mean, it's an incredible amount of work devoted to the question. That's what's so impressive. I mean, I think the ones that we gravitated to were ones that were specifically ambiguous and interesting. But there were so many that were kind of knee-jerk, you know. And I think a lot of my, a lot of the ones I didn't like were the media ones because it's, you know, that's one of the irreducible metaphors that, you know, that, uh, yeah, it's an, it's an image, it, it's made through media and so forth. And we've heard that, you know, so many decades. Um, and th that was my disappointment, seeing those messages again. You know, but, but the ones that were more ambiguous, the kind mm. of interesting new stories and narratives about the uh, next stage, you know, whether it's uh, you know, positive or negative, mm. um, were, were pretty interesting. They had yeah. some depth. I thought there was going to be more sustainability stuff, because that's so like, huge, yeah. whether or not it's you know, greenwashing or not. But uh, I just thought there was going to be at least or I thought there would be a, a good handful of ones that were yeah, really were highlighted. Right. They were, but I, just, yeah. I, guess I, had, I guess I didn't see as many as I thought I was going to see. One of I the 12 that was cautionary the tales thing. is full of yeah. windmills spinning around, yeah. and there was a twisted tower that had windmills in it. Yeah, yeah. I saw that one. And there are many I guess I just thought I was expecting more. Sustainability. I think that this was surprising to me because um, I thought there would be more politically charged messages you were saying that may be bad or good there's nothing like that it's all about exploration of form and kind of even old ideas that kind of surprised me um, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't see more aggressive kind of I mean there were some you mentioned the one over there that kind of the vagina you mentioned <laughs> it was all beautiful whatever kind of like you know detail whatever kind of thing but I thought there'd be more kind of like form aggressive form studies of something and maybe it's good that they, that they weren't there but it was more conceptual one more thing I was going to say, just on what you were saying, you know, that, that, you know, after the activism of the 60s, right, and then there was like this, I don't know what, and then there's tremendous apathy and during the Bush administration, and now there's like this re revival of interest in politics. And, and it, you know, the, the, the other strain that's detectable here is a certain kind of architectural activism that comes with um, media, with, uh, you know, fast telecommunications, you know, and somehow driving that through the White House or dispersing the White House, um, decentralizing yeah. it and, and so forth. That's, that's the real kind of activism that I think that, that's kind of generative. And actually the real deal is in the grass in this This is this could be one of the three, but yeah. beyond that, confirm that it's not a bad magazine. Try to fold. Five versus five. Maybe they can send it away. Yeah.